Welcome to the lecture series on digital electronics, 18EC 3R2C. In the previous lecture, we have discussed how to simplify Boolean expression using the Karnoff's map method. So there we introduced Karnoff map and discussed its properties and we started simplifying Boolean expressions using Karnoff maps. So we have shown how to construct a two variable k map and three variable k map and we have looked at simplifying one or two boolean expressions in the previous class and the topic continues in this lecture also so we will look at more examples which shows how we can use the Karnoff map to simplify boolean expressions so we will consider a few more examples so example number one So simplify the expression f equals a bar bc plus b bar c bar plus a b c plus a b c bar. So here we got a boolean expression which need to be simplified using Karnoff map method. So as done in the previous lecture, we will first construct the K map. So here I will in short list out the various steps that we need to follow when we have to simplify so while simplifying the boolean expression we have also outlined general procedure to be followed in simplifying any other boolean expression also using k maps so procedure general procedure to simplify any boolean expression in standard sum of products form using Karnoff's map of any variable so first thing is a construct the k map and place once those squares corresponding to to the mean terms present in the given expression In the given expression if it is already in standard sum of product form or if it is not in standard sum of product form or sum of mean terms form we have to convert that into sum of mean terms form 
so construct a k map first and place ones in those squares corresponding to the main terms present in the given function so this is what we have to do first so observe that the given expression whether it is present in the sum of in terms form or not so if it is not present in sum of in terms convert it to sum of in terms form and once we got the sum of in terms form expression the first step is in the simplifying procedure is to construct a k map so since it is a three variable function here so we will construct three variable k map now Three variable k map should contain eight squares. So this is a three variable k map which has eight squares and column variable we assume that it is a row variable we assume it as a and column variable is b c and this is b bar. A. This is B bar C bar. This is B bar C. This is B C. This is B C bar. So we have constructed the K map of three variables. And now place ones in those squares corresponding to given terms present in the given function. So this is the given function. And here you can see that the first min term is a bar b c. You can see observe that all these are min terms since the function is a uh, three variable function, and all these five terms contain all the three variables, so they are min terms. So see the first min term a bar b c. So a bar belongs to first row. B c means so this is the cell corresponding to the mean term a bar b c so put, place a 1 in that and next so the second mean term a b bar c bar so a b bar c bar corresponds to this cell and a b c a b c and a b c bar a b c bar so these are the cells corresponding to four cells corresponding to the four main terms present in the given function. Now, what is the next? So we have constructed the K map and placed ones in those cells or squares corresponding to the main terms present in the given function. And next what you have to do is examine the map for adjacent ones and group or loop those ones which are not adjacent to any other ones so the second step is uh, to examine the whole map that is uh, after the function is entered examine the map for adjacent ones and you need to find those ones which are adjacent to 
not adjacent to any other box. So, do you have any ones such? See, this is this is general procedure. So, some points may be applicable, and some points may not be applicable. So, if they are there, you need to uh, go through that step. If they are not there, you have to skip to next step. So here first is to examine the map ones and group uh, those ones which are not adjacent to any other ones and here you can see if you take this one it is adjacent to this and if this is adjacent to this this is adjacent to this and do you think uh, this is not adjacent to any no so this is adjacent to this one why because you can see that the min term is corresponding to this cell is a b bar c bar and the min term corresponding to this is a b c bar and you can see that there is only one variable difference and the variable that is changing is b it is changing from b bar to b so since there is only one variable change between these two cells these two cells i can say that these two cells are also adjacent even though on the map it looks like they are not adjacent, placed adjacent, but logically they are adjacent since there is only one variable change from the min term corresponding to this cell to this cell. So, in the same way, this cell is also adjacent to this cell. So, after examining the map, you can see that there are no ones which are not adjacent to any other ones. That means we don't have any isolated ones for this particular function. So we will skip the step 2. And next we have to look for look for those ones which are adjacent to only one other one and loop or group any pair any Such one. So here, the next step, the next um, step in the simplification process is: so we have to look for those ones which are adjacent to only one other one. So that means you can see that. Take for example this one. You can see that this one is adjacent to only other one one which is this so right so we are looking for the one which is adjacent to only one other one uh, so we have selected this so we cannot select in that case this because this one is adjacent to this and also this but you can see that this one is adjacent to only one other one. So, what we have to do? We have to form a pair containing such one. So, we have to form a pair. So, here we can form a pair of one. So, so form a pair of two. So, we can form a pair of two. And you can see that. So after forming that, uh, so when you form, when you group these two, what you can see is, what is the term resulting? So here, from this cell to this cell, the variable that is differing that is changing is a. So that means, so when you pair these two cells containing ones, whose min terms are 
एम आर बी सी एंड ए सी ये रिजल्ट है बी सी Now we also have one more such one, which is adjacent to only one other one, and you can see that that is this. So this self-containing one is adjacent to only one other one. It is this, not to any other cell. So it is adjacent to only one. One. So what I can do is I can form a pair of this one with this. So this I can also treat it as a pair as the min terms differ in only one variable. So when I pair these two ones, it results in a. B bar, C bar, A, B, C bar. So the result will be whatever the variable that is changing. So variable changing here it is <coughs> B. So that will get eliminated. So the resulting product is A C bar. and you can see that so there are no ones left which are to be grouped so that means we have finished the simplification of the expression completely for this expression but You can see that there are. We will list out the more general steps. So when you finish this, so for this example, so only these are the uh, final product terms which are to be included in the expression. And here, uh, <coughs> the other steps will be the general steps to simplify any Boolean expression. So when so first what we have is um we have constructed a map and placed ones in those squares corresponding to the min terms present in the given function and after we examine the ones adjacent examine for adjacent ones which are not adjacent to any other ones and next after. We have looked for those ones which are adjacent to only one other one, and we have formed a pair containing such ones, and we got two such pairs for this example. And next, what do you have to do after is, so here there are no ones left, but maybe for some other example, some more ones are left after the step three. So in that case, what you have to do is uh, you have to start searching for forming possibility of forming group of higher number of ones first. That is, you can form groups of two ones and four ones. And eight ones, and sixteen ones, and thirty-two ones, so on. When you want to form groups using, so we have to try that we can either we we can form group of maximum number of ones, even though it includes. So. Uh, even though it includes uh, the already looped one, so that means 
So for example, there are seven uh, seven ones, and uh, if we include a one, then it forms a group of one. But you see that the one is already paired with some other. So even in that case, since uh, by including that one, uh, you would be able to form a group of eight ones. So in that case, you can include the one which is already have in looped also so but so what you have to do is loop any so that a group of eight ones is called as octet so loop any octet even if even if it contains some ones that have already been looped so first you try to look first the group of maximum number of ones so that is uh, the group can be formed by including the ones which already have been looped so try to on that group here there are no groups in such a way so next after forming group of possible groups of eight then loop any groups of four so if after if there is no possibility of or after forming the groups of eight so if there is a possibility of forming a group of four ones so that is group of four ones is called quad so loop any quad that contains one or more ones that have not been <coughs> already been looped so after that loop any group of uh, try to find any group of four ones that contains such that see you have to form a group only when when there are cells containing ones that are left ungrouped or that are left unlooped then only you have to try to form the new loops so this way we we have tried first octet so if there is a possibility form an octet for which includes the uncovered unlooped ones and after forming or if after it is not possible then look at for the group of four ones as then they should contain one or more ones that have not been yet looped similarly so if quads are formed or if there is no possibility of forming the quad then look at Tails. So loop any tails. It is a group of two ones. So loop any tails. 
so I are necessary to include any ones that have not it been loop right so that have not yet been looped right <coughs> we'll leave you this procedure given a boolean expression so try to bring so if it is already in the sum of min terms form then it is no problem but if it is not in sum of min terms uh, standard sum of products form bring that into standard sum of products form and after that construct the k map and place ones in those squares corresponding to the min terms present in the given function so examine the k map after entering the ones and try to find out the one which is not adjacent to any other one and that gives one product term corresponding to that min term of the isolated one and next after completing the looking for isolated one next look for those ones which are adjacent to only one other one and in this example we have found two so this one is adjacent to only this one and this one is adjacent to only this one so try to form a pairs and obtain the product terms and even after if you have any ones left so try to form a group of eight ones even though it includes the ones that have already been looped so try to get the product of the object and <coughs> we will look at more example which uh, where uh, we can form a group of object so loop any quad that means after you complete uh, possibility of forming octet you go to check the possibility of forming quad so when you are forming this octet and quad you have to have these octet and quad have to include one or more ones that have not been already been looped so this looping in procedure will end when we are left with no ones which are unlooped are not looped so loop any pairs finally so first try for octet next try for quad next try for pairs so in each step if you could form a pair if you could uh, form an octet you will get a product term if you could form a quad you will get a product term if you could form a pair you will get a product term corresponding to that pair so finally what you have to do is the r sum of all all form the all r sum of all the terms generated by each
so finally whatever the terms uh, we have generated by forming each loop we have to sum or we have to logically add all those terms and that logical sum of all those terms will be the simplified expression of the boolean function and for this example f equals to we got two there are two terms here in step three it is bc and ac bar and we don't have any other terms generated in the remaining steps so it is we have to sum f equals bc plus ac bar and this will be the simplified expression of the given example and this is a procedure that we follow to simplify any other general boolean expression also <coughs> Now we look at, we we'll take one more example, so the example number, example number 2, so simplify the expression f equals a bar b bar c, yes a bar b c, yes a bar b c bar, a b bar c and a b c so this is enough expression containing five terms and you can see observe that all these five terms are standard products are main terms so we can directly construct start constructing the k map this is a three variable so construct a three variable k map this is a bar a b bar c bar b bar c b c c bar now start entering so we constructed the k map start entering once in the cells corresponding to the given min terms so first is a bar b bar c so in this cell and a bar b c in this cell and a bar b c bar in this cell and a b bar c a b bar c and next one last one is a b c this one right so we constructed k map and we have entered once into the key map and next what you have to do you have to find isolated ones which are not adjacent to any other one so there are no such ones so if you see that this looks like isolated but this is adjacent to this so there are no isolated ones and the next step is to look for the ones which are adjacent to only one other one and you can see that this is the cell containing one which is adjacent to only one other one so what you have to do is 
to form a loop here and here you can have to see that when you want to pair this one you have to look for whether you can form a loop of 8 first so there are no 8 ones at all so you can form a group of 4 no so this is a group of 4 but including this you cannot form a group of 4 including this so including this what you can form at max is group of 2 so pair these two ones so pair these two ones and it results in so what results it is a bar b c plus a bar b c bar so this pair results in a product term this is so the changing variable is c here so it, it is eliminated so resulting product is a bar b and after that we have to what you have to look at you have to look for the octet possibility of formation of octet so there are no eight ones at all so there is no possibility of forming octet next you have to look for possibility of forming quad that means a group of four ones and you can see that there are only three ones left three ones left which are not looped yet but you can see that if you include this one which is already have been looped you will be able to form a group of four ones this way so which covers three ones which are not at looped but it also covers one cell which have already been looped so this is not a problem and it is according to our step only what is it loop any quad that contains one or more ones that have not already been looped right so according to step number five we can form a group of four ones this way even though it includes one cell which is already have been looped and when you form a quad and the quad is formed by the many terms a bar b bar c plus a bar b c plus a b bar c plus a b c and here you need not apply any rules and theorem so that is directly from the kmap you can write the product term or you can see what is the term generated by this loop and here in order to see the term generated by the loop so throughout the loop you have to observe what is the what are the variables that remain constant so throughout the loop from this to this you can see a is changing so it it will get it will get eliminated and here you can see b is changing so that means b is also eliminated so what is remains constant out of the three is c so this term is equal to c itself so after forming a quad there are no ones left to form new loops so we are done completed with forming loops so finally by step 7 what we have to do is form the R sum of all the terms generated so all the terms generated is C plus A bar B so the sum is the simplified boolean expression for the given expression
next we look at how to construct a kernel of map for a four variable function that is a four variable k map so since the number of variables are number of variables are four the number of min terms for the function will be 2 power 4 16 similarly the number of cells for the present in the corresponding k map must also be 16 so that means we have to construct a diagram which should contain 16 cells corresponding to the 16 min terms of the four variable function so we will take four by four matrix by that um, not four by four columns and four rows by that we will get a 16 number of squares so assuming that the variables are a comma b comma c comma d so can use you can take the names for the variables as you wish so here i have taken a b c d and we will try to construct a k map for this Here there are four rows, so two variables are used are required to represent the rows. And the first row is represented with the variables A bar B bar and second one is with A bar B and third one is with A B and fourth is with A B bar. We followed the great whole sequence so such that The adjacent terms by the adjacent variables, adjacent variables are differing, differ in only one variable. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 now, it is 1, 0. Similarly, CD used to represent the column, columns, this is C bar, D bar. C bar D, C D, and C D bar. And now we can see that the first cell represents a min term A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar. Similarly, second one A bar, B bar, C bar, D. Similarly, it is A bar, B bar, C, D. And this is B bar, A bar, D, C bar, D bar. So combine the column variables with row variables to form a min term of the particular cell.
see this can also be shown in an alternate way A, B, C, D. This is M0 in term. So M0 is transferred the decimal equivalent of the binary sequence 0, 0, 0, 0. In M1, M2, and M3. And M4, M5, M7, M6. You can see this. Is 0 1 1 1 it is equivalent to decimal it is equivalent to 7 0 1 1 0 decimal equivalent to 6 similarly you can see that m8 m9 m11 and m10 you can check here the binary sequence and the equivalent decimal so m12 m 13 and 15 and 14 so this is how a okay, four variable can add will be constructed so you can see that the min terms corresponding to each cell so we will out of the four variables since there are four rows two variables are used to represent the four rows and two more variables are used to represent four columns and given a four variable function boolean expression we have to follow the how to simplify the expression is the same as how we simplified the expression containing three variables or two variables but the map is same here it should contain 16 number of cells our way out of the four variables two variables represent the rows and two more variables represent the columns so we will take up one example it shows how to simplify a four variable variable function using a four variable k map so 